Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got videos today from the modern king. Judge humbles entitled woman and makes her pay child support. My judge. Please like subscribe down below. Really appreciate that. Ask the chow. It's chow time. Go to court today to try to increase my child support. We have two kids together. As I was stated before, I was interrupted. Um, she makes quite a bit of money. I'm a school teacher. I only make fifty thousand. Kids on my insurance. How much is your insurance? My insurance is five hundred dollars a month. All right. Um, yeah, and that's the shitty thing about healthcare. It's so expensive to have just the kids on good insurance is five hundred dollars a month that's pretty crazy price and it's you and the three children on there correct okay oh bless him and i mean i just need a little help she helps everybody else but she doesn't help the kids like she should um the two kids that we do have together struggling in school they're falling behind i just feel like the amount of money that she pays for all the luxury stuff she has the louis v bag she should put that money towards tutoring for our children or something. Um, I see her looking at me. She know everything I'm saying is accurate, so it is what it is. Okay. Any assistance I can get is greatly appreciated. Okay, now you say you want to increase child increase. support. Yeah. How much money are you getting right now from her? $450, and I feel like Four hundred fifty. I don't, I don't even know how she finessed the system like that. To <laughs> yes, y'all may need to look into that too. You so mad that you the, broke? The, the PP. Ooh, ma'am, yeah. ma'am, don't do that. Don't do that. I didn't tell him to be a little teacher. That was on him. Listen, I'm a hustler. I didn't tell like, little houses. You said little houses. Little houses. But you taking me to ch uh, to child support court? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I need okay. your, I need okay. your little, I'm not okay. ashamed to say. Okay. See, whenever it's the other the ro role reversal, now we're just broke, broke dusty crusties right but when women ask for child support we don't call you broke dusty crusty musties do we well at least i do but most people don't okay i've been told you you couldn't handle me you couldn't handle somebody like me um your honor look i am just trying to make a living i know this one's a little goofy but yes these are not real in a sense that currently it's not real but these are actually real cases that this judge does and they're reenactment of these cases why they're reenacting because all the court is literally written down by a stenographer so they know exactly what's going on so they try to reenact it it's a good reenactment and i think these are great portrayals of how courts actually are in the court system when it's a battling between you know child support you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, we all have different paths. He chose to be a teacher. I chose to be a real estate agent. We don't care. How much are you making? I'm making 150000 okay. a year. That he a broke that little I'm... teacher. That's okay. what Okay, well, this, you know what? See, see the logic that these women use? It's the exact same logic that we can use on them. It's not our fault that you chose to be a stay-at-home mother and didn't want to work. And it's not our fault that you can't find a good career. Why should I be paying for you to live? But what on, we want to do, on, this is not going anywhere. It's not going to get any better if you all keep going forward. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and order the child support. Now, what he said is true <laughs> in terms of the child always it's being with him. Bad. So the children live with you primarily? Yes. Okay. In my flipped house. $150,000 per year. Mm -hmm. All right. Two kids. That brings your gro your gross to 12500 Now, I hope you weren't anticipating receiving all of that 150000 for or her child Honestly, support to be based on it. The, the tutoring for the kids. I don't want my kids to be dumb. I want my kids to live the life that she lived. Traveling and I all want that. my children to live the life that I live. Don't pay for them to go to tutoring. Your gross is going to be it's a good man he knows that he can't he doesn't have the ability which is good on him but he wants to give his kids the best abilities possible this is what i'm talking about guys when a father has to sacrifice his pride a little bit to get the child support why to give his kids the best he can give them that's more important than pride in my opinion and shout outs to this man for swallowing his pride because he knows this will help out his children. Of that 150000 is going to be $12,500. She's actually capped. 
Her net all. resources, they come out to $9,200 because she's capped okay. based on her income. That brings her child support obligation to $2,300 per month. D. Reimbursing you for the health insurance that you carry for the children every month is $255, bringing your monthly child support to $2,550. Okay. <laughs> From nothing, it seemed like, to, or like 300 and something to $2,500. Good on. See, this is why it's worth it to do it, guys. Yes. As men, we could probably don't give a fuck about the money, nor do we want to care that she's going to be in our kids' lives. But we know that's a good chunk of money that these kids can use for a lot of great things. Tutoring, private school, health insurance. I, 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 like no, excuse me. Wait a minute. Like I don't get, get paid monthly. Oh, I, it's according to how my houses are flipped. So if I go a month without flipping a house, what? Why did you do this? You no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me. I went off DG's what you time. said. You, you said, Your Honor, I make about $150,000. Did you say that? I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did say that. Right, Your right. Honor, you, you did, you did, you did say that. So the cap, the cap, that's what I based it on. You did. Shut up. <laughs> Therefore, that's what your child support amount is going to be. $2,550, so I hope you can flip enough. That's a lot of child support, I admit. Of houses to make that flip some more for these children. Is there anything further, ma'am? Um, yes, can I just ask a question? We don't care. I'm glad our brother was able to get what he needed, and hopefully outcomes like this become more common in the future. Again, guys, sometimes pride comes before the fall, and it might not be your fall, but it could be your kids' fall. Hey, I'm your neighbor. I live three houses down. I just wanted to let you know that every time you go to work, there's a car that comes here and there's a guy that comes into your house. I think your wife might be cheating on you. Uh, the car is a red Chevy. Um, license plate, it starts with a five. I didn't get the whole thing. But every time you leave work at about 2 a.m., uh, there's a red Chevy that pulls up right down the street here, parked here, and there's a guy who comes into your house um, and uh, meets with your wife. Um, I've seen this about four nights in a row now, and I just wanted to let you know uh, if you need more proof, or f uh, I got like a ring cam, uh, and I, I can show you my ring cam that shows my front yard. I can you you'll see the car in the footage. Um, if you got any questions? Like I said, I live three houses down at five nine two. Um, if you want to talk about it, just let me know. All right, just want to tell you that. That's disgusting. Thankfully, that man has a good neighbor who let him know what was going on which is going to save him a ton of time and money. Unfortunately, if he This is where I said about the Karen thing. It's like actually kind of nice to have Karen type neighbors because they, they, they neighborhood watch. They see everything. When they see things out of line, they kind of let you know. He's the breadwinner. He will likely still lose half of his things since infidelity doesn't really impact the division of assets. How are we supposed to balance everything? Mm -hmm. I am drowning. I wake up in the morning, I pack my kids' lunches, I drive them to school, I have to rush back so I can make it to my first man. meeting. My boss tells me that I'm not engaged enough on Zoom, so I have to try harder there. I spend all day doing my job where I don't even leave my desk chair. My house is falling apart. I, I don't even have time to take my dogs outside during the day. And somehow I'm also supposed to be working out, cooking dinner at night, eating right, helping them with homework. And you I chose spend my this lunch life. break picking them up from school and I don't even get five minutes to myself during the day. Not even enough. Like I'm not doing anything 100%. When is it just enough? Maybe you shouldn't have destroyed your family and thrown away your vows just so you could go work a job. 
A man refused to do any more chores after his wife called him a house husband. He posted to Reddit showing that he and his wife, Bella, have been married for five years. They met in college where she studied pre-law and he studied animation. He worked as a line cook to support her through law school and upon graduation, she landed a good job in a different state. He quit his job and didn't get another one when they relocated. Because Bella works really long hours, he handles most household tasks, including renovations on their home. And in the last six months or so, Bella has taken to calling him her house husband around family family and friends. He's tried letting it go, but it bothers him as he feels insecure about not being able to find a good job and it makes him feel even more inadequate. He's told his wife to stop emasculating him and he refuses to do any more chores until she apologizes, but she refuses. It seems as though this man is holding on just a little too tightly to traditional gender roles. Using words like inadequate and insecure make it seem as though he still sees his role as a traditional male provider. According to the Pew Research Center, Americans place a higher value on a man's role as a financial provider. And 71 yep percent of adults say that it's very important for a man to be able to support a family financially to be a good husband and partner. But the reality of the matter is that every family is different and these ideas are terribly outdated. It's 2024. It sounds like this man needs to work on... All he did was bequest for her to stop calling him that. And it's turned into this smorgasbord of bullshit right now of... Oh, men feeling inadequate and we shouldn't be changing gender roles and blah, blah, fucking blah. Just stop pet, like fucking pestering the man and calling him a house husband. He, like, that's it. That's all he asked for. If he would just got that, he'd been perfectly fine. You, you keep poking the bear. Stop poking the bear his self-perception and that perhaps both members of this couple could afford a little more respect for one another true it sounds like she needs to stop emasculating her husband and you need to stop trying to conform men to your ideologies it's natural that a man wants to provide for his family Damn and right. there's nothing wrong with him wanting to do that nothing guys the court system is so rigged even if we have custody even if they make more than us, somehow they're able to pay less money than if they were a man. This is just how some judges that are so biased set things up until you get a judge that isn't as biased as the one we saw, and they will set things a little bit more evenly. But you're kind of like a roll of the dice of what judge you're going to get. You can get that feminist judge that literally put shitloads of men in jail for not paying child support. Please like, show them below. Really appreciate that. Catch you guys next time. Ciao.